Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and today I've got this absolutely fantastic little book here to show you. This is Mr Bliss, the facsimile edition, which was written and illustrated by J.R.R. Tolkien, as you can see from the title here, and this is just... Again, this is one of the few books in my collection that I absolutely love, just simply as like a beautiful object, really. So you can see if we just look around this sort of hard case rather than a book cover that we've got here, that if we open this up here, pull on this little part here, we have actually got a book inside, just a simple empty case here. Now this is one of the far lesser known um, Tolkien books and I thought I'd just show you a few pages and tell you exactly why I love this. So just for the start we'll have a quick look at some of the pages where you've got pages side by side and then we'll zoom in on a few of the actual handwritten and hand illustrated pages from Tolkien's actual original manuscripts himself. So again these are not unfortunately the actual ones, these are just copies of them but this, oh, again, if we open this up and I'll stop wittering on and just show you exactly why I love this. You can see Mr Bliss, J.R.R. Tolkien. And this book now seems to be actually quite rare, this edition. This was, I think, 2007. I'm not sure if we've got the um, date here. There, this edition, 2007. So, Mr Bliss, if we open this up, you can see... You know, a lot of these introduction pages and a lot of these little hand-drawn sketches. Don't worry, like I say, we'll zoom in on this side in just a moment. But, wow, we have got a lot of introduction pages. As you might start to see and understand about this book, basically, this is the a scan of the original copy as it was written in Tolkien's hand himself. And then here is just the actual typed-up written um, version of that. So you can see, basically, as we go through every page... You know, obviously, on illustration-only pages, we don't have any words. But when we get to actual pages with a lot of writing here, because he's um, had a very specific type of sort of old-style writing, and I want to point out that I have got terrible handwriting, so you know, this is beautiful, neat handwriting, but not necessarily that um, clear for us to read if you're used to sort of the modern style of writing. But you can see that we've got a clear sort of copy of what, exactly what's written just on the left-hand side page here. And um, as you zoom in, I mean, as we move along, sorry, I hope that you can start to get the gist of why I love this as a really interesting object that you've got literally like the actual manuscript here with the actual drawings as they were and as they were handed over to the publisher. Just a beautiful little, really intriguing bit of history, I suppose, this. And what I love, there's some pages where you can see that he's crossed things out and made errors and stuff like that. So if we zoom in slightly now just on here, we're all in focus. And I'll just show you a few, a few pages here. But you can see, like, again, I hope that it's becoming pretty um, clear as to why I love this. I just try and sort the light in a little bit. Ah, there, that's beautiful, that. Right, you can see, like I say, just again it's how rare it is to see this sort of glimpse of something that was written so long ago as well and in such beautiful colour and all the illustrations and that just a really fantastic piece this um, I'm not sure I'll be able to leave a link in the description to this specific book on Amazon or anywhere else for that matter so I'll just leave a link to a general Mr Bliss book um, if you're interested in the story of one of these lesser known Tolkien books as I have talked about things like the Silmarillion before, which are proper sort of grown-up books that tie in with Lord of the Rings and all the history of Middle Earth, and before there was ever anything even existed, the sort of Tolkien creation story. But again, this is just fantastic, like I say. And um, it's well, here's one of those examples you can see. We've got our beautiful illustration down here, and we've got a proper big um, area that's been crossed out in no uncertain terms there. I wonder, I'm not sure there's a page somewhere where even on the scan, you can see on the inside, ah yeah, you can see like, there's literally bits of um, tape holding the pages together on the original document, and that would have been the page on that side originally. So then if we go over to this page, you'll see that we have got the other ends of the tape there just lined up um, to where it would have once upon a time opened up with page 17 and page 18. So again, I just wanted to show you this because... I just think it's it's beautiful, it's fascinating, and it's a very rare look into the actual original manuscripts and documents and illustrations of Tolkien himself. What a beautiful piece. Anyway, 
feel free to check out my other videos. You'll find loads of random stuff like this, loads of outdoors and fun and games, adventuring off walking, cycling, hundreds of videos about living on a boat in the UK, as well as other interesting books, such as this Alice in Wonderland beautiful pop-up book. If I say it's a pop-up book, if we open this up, it'll never be in shot at this level. But you can see, or perhaps you can't see, that we have got this incredible, like, huge amount, literally that much pops out of this tiny book. Again, absolutely love that, but I'll leave um, you to see those videos <laughs> at your leisure. Until the next time, though, please do keep it book weirdy. Feel free to subscribe and all that sort of stuff. Like the Facebook page, even add me personally on Facebook if you're super interested. But until the next time, just have a great day, and of course, farewell.